Hi guys, Happy with Ninja here. I want to show you how I get my favorite elite skill in Tarkov. Crafting. It is the first elite skill that I ever had. The second one was elite hideout management, obviously. These skills allow me to get ridiculous amounts of money and get the best ammo in every wipe. With elite crafting and elite hideout management, I could keep playing and doing some expensive quests. By selling crafted moonshine and SJ6, I wasn't worried about the money at all. And if you don't have much time for raids, but you can spend a few minutes in the hideout, the elite crafting is something that you will love. In this video, I will show you what elite crafting and elite hideout management bonuses are and how to level the skills easily. So keep on watching. If you like the video, please hit the sub button. This way you won't miss any other videos in the future. The new series is coming soon. Crafting updates and dark of economy. It will feature info on what is worth to craft currently and what to sell and buy on flea market and for how much to make the most money. Let's get back to the topic. What are the bonuses from elite crafting and elite hideout management? The elite bonus of crafting skill is giving you the ability to craft two different objects at once. What it means in practice is that I can craft at the same time BP ammo and M61 ammo in the workbench. The stations in the hideout that I can craft two different items at the same time are laboratory, workbench, intelligence center, nutrition unit, med station and scuff case. Another bonus from leveling crafting skill is the reduction of craft time. It means that by leveling crafting skill you will craft your items faster. For example, with all bonuses that I have now, I'm crafting BP ammo in 9 hours. That is 8 hours faster compared to the people with crafting skill on level 1. What is the elite bonus from hideout management skill? The elite hideout management is giving you 2 extra slots for fuel, water filters, air filters and bitcoins. Also by leveling the hideout management skill you will receive additional bonuses. First bonus is decreasing fuel and filters consumption rate up to 20 25%. Second bonus from hideout management skill is increasing all percentage bonuses from hideout stations. With max hideout management skill, the bonus can go up to 50%. Let's check the library station bonus, which is additional raid experience. With hideout management skill level 1, the library bonus is 15%. With maximum hideout management, it is 22%. Not massive, but always something. Also, it is worth mentioning that crafting and hideout management bonuses are boosted each other and you can level them up together at the same time. How to easily level up the crafting skill and hideout management skill? In general, to level up crafting, you need to craft and rotate the crafts. And to level up hideout management, you need to spend resources and upgrade hideout modules. There are some extra sources of activities that are also giving you points towards the skill levels, but there is no need for you to worry about them at all. What matters the most is the crafts rotation and resource usage. Follow these three steps to get elite crafting and elite hideout management fast. First step, upgrade everything that you can in the hideout. Also simultaneously, craft items and rotate the crafts. I will tell you how exactly to do the rotation in a moment. Second step, always use filters and fuels. Keep it all up non-stop. Yes, even air filters when you are not in the raids. Third step, upgrade as soon as you can the library station. It will give you a massive bonus boost. And don't forget about crafting moonshine in the boost generator. It is my favorite money source. Every week I'm making 5-7 millions from just selling moonshine. Please keep in mind that crafting the same item non-stop it's a bad decision for leveling crafting skill fast. That is why if you want to have a maximum skill level you need to rotate your crafts. It is fairly easy and usually you can rotate just two different recipes per station. What I'm usually doing is rotate two short crafts during the daytime and one long craft over the night. Let's walk with me to the hideout and I will show you what I can craft per station. Please keep in mind that the crafts probably will change after the wipe. So subscribe to not to miss the video with updates. You just did it? Thank you for being awesome. What item craft per station? In laboratory, rotate cordura and gas mask air filter. Overnight craft is water filter. In workbench, rotate gunpowder kite and round clears. Overnight craft is BP ammo. Intelligence center, rotate only secure flash drive and topographic survive maps. In this station, the crafts are long, so just two of them are needed. In the nutrition unit, rotate emergency water ration and Wilson cigarettes. The long craft is bottle of Vivco light beer. In med station, 
installation, rotate pile of mats and AI2 mat kit. Long craft is the portable defibrillator. These are example crafts that will change over the state of the white. Check my YouTube channel for more updates or visit me during my live streams on Twitch. Feel free to ask questions. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.